Let me talk about something. And I mentioned this last night. I talked about it for a bit. Last night I started talking about we get these great audiences here at the show. We really do amazing audiences. But several nights ago, there was a guy sitting in our crowd. And I talked about this last night. There was a guy sitting in our crowd. I think this is on Tuesday night, maybe, Jeff? And everybody noticed it. I didn't notice it first because I was in the zone. <laughs> but, but people started to notice, and then they called my attention to it during commercial break. This guy wasn't giving up a laugh for anything. It was chilling. So we finally, decided, let's put a camera on him. He didn't know he had a camera on him because we turned the red light off, and we just surreptitiously pointed at the guy. And this is actual footage of the guy. Everybody else, show this now. Everybody else was laughing. I don't know what his deal was. And then speaking of Joe Millionaire, I got to mention this before we go. The Fox Network announced that they're going to thank the star of Joe Millionaire by sending him on a trip to Hawaii. Isn't that nice? Yeah, apparently in keeping with the spirit of the show, they'll send him to New Jersey and tell him it's Hawaii. That's the idea. They're going to do that. And then... Uh-oh. That's pretty chilling to watch. That's what he was doing the whole time. So, so we showed that last night, and I just had to know, because that, I'm psychologically damaged now from that guy stoning me all night. And so uh, we asked last night on the show, if anybody knows who this guy is, please contact us. If you know this man, there he is. And folks, there he is, in a, that's a full-throated laugh he's doing right there. Uh, it says, anybody, can you tell us, ladies and gentlemen, we came in this morning, proof that people watch, and, uh, and uh, the call had come in. He, uh, the man's wife called, she saw, she claims, this is all true, I'm not making this up, she claims he's a big fan of the show. <laughs> I mean, clearly he was just delighted to be here to see me in person. Uh, he is in charge of internet technology for an insurance company. Which might explain why he's so excited all the time. His name is Bob Trzinski. So we've arranged at great expense to us to have Bob be here tonight. Let's bring out Bob Trzinski right now. Now you felt what I felt. He looked right at the audience and just, they've all lost like 20 years off their life now. That was chilling. That's really him. He came here. Where's he from, by the way? I didn't even ask where he's from. He's from Manhattan. Huge commitment to make it to our show. Um, he, I guess he was at a funeral and decided to pop in here and check out a late night show. Um, well, anyway, he has agreed. We've asked him if we've asked if Bob could stay here all night and watch tonight's show. And uh, right now we're setting him up in the green room backstage and throughout, he's just gonna watch the show tonight and we'll uh, check in with him and we'll see if we can get that guy to crack a smile. Is he in the green room yet? He's in there now? Let's just cut to him now. I think he's set up, he's ready to go. <laughs> there he is, there he is, my God. It's like the Russian roulette scene out of Deer Hunter or something. It's just a lot of grim stuff going on. You know what we're going to do? I think we should house. Okay. He's going to be there all night. Folks, I think we can get that man to laugh. And there's no better way to do it than to take a break right now. When we come out, Will Ferrell will be here. So Today's dentists. They are the captains of cavity prevention, the heroes of healthy smiles. They're armed to the teeth with more high-tech tools than ever before. And right beside them is the one brand of toothbrush that's as innovative as they are. The one brand that's leading the way to a future of dental dreams come true. Now, is it any wonder when asked what brand of toothbrush they use themselves, more dentists open up wide and say, Oral-B. Brush like a dentist.
things to your cereal can be a hard habit to break. Luckily, there's Kellogg's Raisin Bran Crunch with sweet flakes, plump raisins, and honey oat clusters. All it needs to taste good is some ice-cold milk. Kellogg's Raisin Bran Crunch, perfect as is, maybe better. There's a ritual to eating lobster during Lobster Fest. Get a group of friends and family, gather around the table at Red Lobster, and begin cracking, dipping, and grabbing. Don't be afraid to pounce without warning. Butter on your shirt's not a stain, it's a medal of honor. Because you're not just eating food, you're eating lobster. So come to Red Lobster and try one of our amazing new lobster dishes. Lobster Fest, right now at Red Lobster. A brand new day dawned, and you didn't even have to think about it. Nature takes care of that, just like the bread from Nature's Own. All the 100% natural goodness you need, and the good taste you want. And you don't even have to think about it. Nature's Own takes care of that every day. Nature's Own. Our name says it all. We're back, my first guest.